All right, so that was 2017 then. Yeah, it had to be 2017 because he wasn't here in 16. I don't think Carapa was here in 16. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's been a hot minute. Five awesome. And, and and I remember back then, so the last time these guys played, back then Carabo was considered the fifth best Yoshi in Japan. Wow. Now, I think it's it's a pretty clear that he's the best, you know? There's also Hiyo. Yeah. Uh, who's also pretty good, but I definitely think Karaba, uh and, and Karaba has had a lot of success versus uh, Wario's. Like, he's got Wario's number. And look at that. That's pretty. Just warming up his hands. And he, he, he almost throws out aerials more to land earlier on platforms than he does to, like, for spacing purposes. Yeah. Like, aerials are just a movement option to him. And that is a great thing for Yoshi and, he and spaces, Ness. And yeah. he spaces so much with, without throwing out aerials. Like, we see him throwing out some back airs here, but he's a, a big mover of uh, just like with, with Yoshi without space. using the double jump and stuff. Like Yeah, just being there. Just being, his presence is powerful enough. And Kiro getting that stock with a, uh, with a back throw. This is some exciting stuff. Oh, a weak for... This, is, this isn't Prince. I expected an up smash or a down B there, but he... he yeah, I thought maybe the standing needed. down B after the up tilt, but maybe he was uh, too high. Karaba, definitely a safer player than Prince. I think we could say that much. I don't think we're going to see him throw out any uh, win cancels. <laughs> but that's only because I haven't played friendlies with him yet. And the up air, not going to take it. But maybe one more will, but I mean, it's, it's probably stale now. And such careful spacing on both sides. Really awesome to watch. Talk about a matchup between U.S.'s finest and Japanese finest. We're, we're getting treat, treated here, fellas. Karaba taking a one-stock lead. He's electing to play Invincibility Bros. Just standing under that platform, yeah. picking a side. Chiro actually did kind of guess the correct entrance there, you know, going through that left opening. Um, but Karaba's still kind of able to get it. I mean, he's, he's got plans for that. Connecting with that up air, but not able to uh, get another follow up after it. Kiro, Kiro plays a good neutral. Yeah, yeah, and he's electing it to kind of play uh, along the platforms. He's not going to play this I'm grounded, you're grounded game. Even though it is kind of nice for Pika when you can get grabs like that. I'm not sure if he crouch canceled that. I, I, you have to think he did. No, no jump. Up air will take it. Okay, so Kiro like to kind of fake like he's jumping on the right plat and then hop up to top plat. And he got hit for it, but did not get punished. Um, maybe the invincibility bro meta is to at least get yourself in a spot where if you do get hit, you're still able to kind of back away after. Yeah. Um, I but have Karaba a bad habit of that. like burning my double jump while they're invincible, and then that you can really be in a bad yeah, spot. Yeah, that's the ultimate noob move. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's up there. It's yeah, for sure. That, except LD will tell you that it's it's a uh, it's a great move <laughs> in certain positions. Karaba and here we go. This out, reverse bear. Reverse bear, not gonna do it. And what an angle, the uppy of his life. It's a shame that. Uh, Karaba really handling that forward air pressure well. Right. Uh, Kiro's hitting a lot of forward airs, multiple hits of these forward airs, right. but not in a way that's like preventing Karaba from armoring through and punishing it. Right. Because if you're going to, because just a forward air alone is not really enough because with the right DI, you know, you just kind of stay on top of them. Yeah. You'll, you'll get punished. But if you can kind of forward air and then the, the last hit of your forward air is you landing on the ground. Yeah. You know, that's where you can then get that shield out or get a grab out or a jab grab or a, or a shield drop aerial. You yeah. Know? There's a lot of options. Um, I'm not sure if... I haven't seen Kiro play as Kirby in a while. I know back in the day he would bring out... He would not hesitate to bring out the Kirby. Uh, yeah. But he's going to stay Pika. And I, 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 like that he, I like that he will. Because, you know, he also feels super confident about the Falcon, but... I think it would be a mistake. Karaba's like one of the best Yoshis versus Falcons. 
probably the best. Yeah, I think it's one of those, like, it's going to be really hard no matter who you pick, so it's probably best off picking the character he's been playing the most this weekend. True. Yeah, yeah. you got it. You're a little warm. That definitely has to factor in. Oh, and uh, he drops through with one of those nares, but still is able to perfect land on the other side. That is one of the most insane shield break attempts I've ever seen. I didn't even know that was a thing. And what a great uh, egg to, to kind of say, you're not allowed to land on top platform. And look at that, he DI's so perfectly so that he lands on the uh, r right platform. And Karaba's able to turn a lot of these forward airs into stocks. Yeah. And here we go. Almost gets punished for his invincibility, bro. Strategy of just standing there uh, underneath. And there, there's that... Uh, we saw that last game with Prince uh, taking that stock. That's that's the bread and butter, and Depp still brutal. committed, still committed to that. Uh, just underneath, I'm gonna. I always thought that he would kind of. Um, I guess maybe it's only for Falcon. He would always sit on the right side of like one of the platforms, mm -hmm. or the right side of right plat, or left side of left plat, mm -hmm. uh, for his invincibility, uh, or for invincibility, bros. But if. If this is a legitimate strategy, center of the stage, and then just kind of pick a... I might a... Uh, Hikiro kind of doing a similar yeah. thing. Look at that. He's just kind of dashing in the middle. The weak nair, not able to follow up. See, and look like, at that. Forward air into just stock. It, it was like good for a half second when it interrupted, but then Karab was yeah. like, okay, yeah, I'll hit you for that. And America's Pikas now still seem a little outmatched by the Red Dragons. And Karaba, he's just so good at this And we'll matchup. see, we'll see, though. I mean, this is... Last time, you know, we saw Karaba have a uh, reverse 3-0. Um, he, pull, he pulled the reverse 3-0 off now. It could go either way. Yeah. Oh, I like the patience from Kiro there. Oh, amazing. Yeah, I guess. And a forward smash. Interesting. I mean, you got three stocks to play with, I guess. And see, there he fades back with the forward air. Um, gets punished for landing on that right platform there. And another beautiful recovery from the, the one thing we could say about Kiro's play, you know, his uh, uppies have been pretty on point. They have. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Love that. Crab was like, yeah, I play with the guy who invented that, so. Uh. Sure. <laughs> All right, so Kiro now discussing with Stranded his kin. Karaba not talking to anyone. Just in his head. Saying, I got this. Gonna take a sip of water. Stranded just talking to Kiro real quick. Isaiah kind of dipped out. I think there is probably a rule for just one coach, though. Because I remember there was the one year where all of Team Japan ran up to, like, Coach Wangara, and they were like, okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> right, well, that crap. was like, because uh, someone else was being coached, like, before that. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, Reminds me almost of like, uh, I don't know if you uh, play chess at all, but like uh, the for chess, like US versus Russia, you know, the Russians would all kind of have their own game plan for like just beating like Bobby Fischer. Okay. Did you get to play at the chess booth at all? Uh, haven't yet, haven't yet. I would That's love to play one just like quick like 10 minute or 15 minute game, you know. Oh, and not able to get that uh, forward air. And here we go. We see a, uh, in conjunction with uh, what, look at that DI. He's able to live another reverse ledge DI. Still going to die. It's can't, so hard you to can't do spell this. die without DI. Yeah. It's so um, hard to do the character switch when you're down 2-0. Like and I have to acknowledge, though, that when these guys played, at, the last time they, these guys played at Smash Con, at least, um, we saw the same thing. And, oh... Could have maybe just forward smash there, but wanted to put on a show. Oh, such a good option. Just a down tilt egg, and that's it. He finds himself down two stocks. And again, the, the best Falcon slaughterer in the world here. And getting caught in invincibility, bros, trying to run underneath. Yep. He's, he's ready. He's ready to move on.
So another big thing is you'll see Karaba as he uses his armor here. Uh, this is great for any of good DI. For any uh, Yoshi's at home, um, you, when he Karaba will kind of run off ledge and then uh, use armor to, and then at the peak of the armor land on side flat. <laughs> and look at that, mouthful of Falcon. Yeah, I think that's gonna be. And it. he made that look easy. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, so a three zero, three zero by Karaba. The the scoreboard doesn't say that, but uh, we'll forgive Koro for that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>